Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Dead Space. That's the wrong way. There we go. Uh, which way are we going first? Must we to go there first? So obviously I'm going to go in the opposite direction. Welcome to the lab. If you've been referred to the lab, please uh, have your referral form and CEC authorization ready. Then process. Then proceed to the lab. Lab staff. What's that noise? Oh. Oh, buddy, you are looking. Not good. Oh, that is grim. Ah, yes, I can recharge my stasis. Perfect. Hello? Oh, I need a node to do that. Alright. Uh, what was Kinesis? That one. All right. Oh, you. I think I might have, I should have gone the way it told me to go. Never mind. All right, you need to go in there, if I remember rightly. You powered up the lift. You right there, Chief? Whoa! Was it for pulse rounds? Okay, uh, infantry is full, so let's use one of those. It's time. Time for what exactly? Oh wait, I have a node. Let's open this door up. Oh, shiny. Uh, audio log. You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down on the colony. 
It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Perfectly normal conversation going on there. Gold semiconductor. Uh, right. Alright, good. So those recharge. Alright, good, good. I can boost it up without the need for picking more stuff up. Alright. Let's get the old rifle out, see how this fares. Dead. Stop doing that. Lovely. Just in case. Right, you're locked. I don't have what I need for you. Because I. Your enemies will appear when you are in a vacuum. All right, don't make me pause then and waste. Oxygen. God damn, that looks... I love the fact that it the sounds, the sound effect they've used. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Oh, here we are. Zero G room. Your ammo counter will flash red if you can't jump to the service. Your ammo counter will flash red if you can't jump to the service. Okay. Zero jump LT and Y. Uh, here we go. Right, obviously I've got to put these batteries in somewhere. Oh. 
Ah, here we go. Grab you. Thank you. Oh, what are you? Shock pad. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Do our best. Okay, so I've got one of the things I was looking for. Oh, that was useful. Oh, that was nice and simple. I'll take it. Bastard. Exiting vacuum. <sighs> Little bastard. Yes, I will use you. Ah, of course. All right, can I do any upgrades? I don't think I can. No, because I don't have any notes. Oh, text log. 
Uh, Harris is asleep. After another strong sedative, he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His uh, explanation of events on the Connolly is also odd and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planet side. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planet planet side security officers were present uh, when he took Dr. Evans when he took Dr. Oh, when he took Dr. Uh, Scarello probably butchered that, sorry hostage and murdered Nurse Evans and he doesn't deny his actions but he insists there was no crime nor does he feel guilt this is a classic sociopathic behaviour but Harris exhibits no other symptoms, he is affable and friendly, able to emphasise empathise and offer original opinions when questioned about the murder however he becomes withdrawn and intransient I think displaying schizophrenic behaviour he also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods again similar to those experienced by other colonists Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces and that he'll kill again to make it whole again what that means I haven't determined yet a most intriguing case ah Sounds like our friend there is a tad loopy. Hey, large mini pack. Right. Whoa. The fuck? All right, I wasn't expecting that. First death, probably the first of many to come. Maybe that's what I need the flamethrower for. There we go. Shit. Got just one of those took up took a good chunk of my health, no wonder I died. Right. Right, so that's the schematics now uploaded. Line gun. We can buy plasma and energy rounds. Uh, valuable electrical components sell at the store. Ah, good. That gives me more moolah to spend. Excellent. Level 2 suit. Oh, I've already got that, haven't I? Flamethrower. Line gun. Let's buy that. Alright, that might be useful.
Alright, so I still need to get the bomb. That's fine. <coughs> I'm not taking any chances. Alright, so it didn't really matter which way I went. Okay. We've got another one of these. This, this feels like a bad place. You're locked for some reason. Anyone else? Oh, is he in there? Another one somewhere. Right, it wants me to go downstairs, so I'm going to hold off for a minute. Uh, take one of those. Alright, why has the music gone all dramatic? Alright, so I should probably save that one for like, the bigger enemies. Nice to get a test. Hey, you smash when I stomp you. Okay. God damn, this game is like 13 years old, it still puts me on edge. Probably helps I haven't played it for a while. Thank you. 
Can you? Oh, was that the last one? Oh, he's a mess. Jesus. undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. All right, so you are completely dead, Ali. Precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terrence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. <laughs> All right, so everyone's off their rocker. All right, so now I can head back. Did I check this room? No, I didn't. Right, give me all the good stuff. No, I, I resist it this time. Oh no, not those fucking things. Oh good. I'm so thrilled. You little fuck. <sighs> this is messed up.
Whoa! Little bastards. I think I've discovered what that something big might be. Damn it. <coughs> oh, God. All right, good. Okay, I probably should have been standing that close to it, but hey ho. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every corner. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, but I haven't already shot it to bits already. Time. Hey, it's okay to be fucked. <laughs> Sorry, we are full. No. Get your tentacles out, you little shit. <sighs> Hate those fucking things. Do 
Did you drop anything? No. Oxygen recharge. Uh, why am I going to need that, I wonder? But I might as well take all the credits, it's not like the crew need them anymore. Alright, he's through there. Got a battery there that I can use. That lift is locked. You want to come back around here? Where are you? I knew you were coming. All right, the captain's through there. At least there's a good, a decent stockpile in here. Uh, right, let's use one of those. Use one of those just to clear some room. That's as much as I can do for now. And what's this blue one? Right. Stop it. You've got a lot to answer for, mate. Whoa! Fuckers.
Newborns. Great. <coughs> God damn it. You okay there? I I don't is are you a qualified nurse? I only asked you a question. That was a bit of an ex an over exaggeration, wasn't it? Jesus. Is that the captain? Uh, further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up to the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study the effects, the causes and effects. In light of uh, discussion I had with Dr Mercer I'd like to meet with uh, Drs Scarello and Welland planet side to get their observations Terence oh maybe that's Terence Why? Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. I don't think you've got them quick enough. Oh, what am I going to find in here? Oh, no, I, I need him. Jesus! 
I need to take that fucker out first, ideally. But I need to stasis the captain and take out that thing. <sighs> Jesus, I forgot how intense this game gets. Let's break this out. There we go, that is how you do that. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. All right, you do that. Something over here. Oh, there is something over there. It's my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and beyond the scope of my role. I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his. Uh, Lacusite, Lacusite, count was very low. Uh, with whatever the hell that word is, in particular, almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the rib cage, suggesting his chest was uh, restrained in some way. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. The force recorded, uh, required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Well, shit. Can we go back the right way? Yes. How'd you miss? How? Yeah, it's full. Bloody things. On, open. Isaac. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. 
I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Alright, I can do that. Any new stuff? Flamethrower, nine racks. Clear up some room, I think. That will do. Wait. Before we do that, I'm gonna, definitely going to do this. Uh, Alright. Get to the tram and head to engineering. Stop it! Alright, good. Ah, oh, that's chapter two completed. Oh, thank God for that. Yes, I don't mind saving again. God, I forgot how intense this is. I can't even imagine how much worse the remake's going to be. I, and I hope it is. It, the game needs to be terrifying. <sighs> right. Well, here we go. Start of chapter three. And that means... I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Dead Space, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.